Good morning, Leo. Welcome to my channel, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another weekly love read. And in this video, Leo, we're going to take a look at your person's energy. Uh, we're going to see what is coming through regarding the person that you are currently thinking of, dealing with and connecting to in love. Please like, share, subscribe if this reading resonates with you, Leo. Um, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy my content here also. This video is a general reading, Leo, so feel free to reverse the roles. And this video will be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Leo placements. To the cross watchers tuning into a Leo in your life, take the messages as they best resonate for you, okay? All right, Leo, we're working with the right away. Let's see what's coming through. Spirit, please show us the energy of the person that Leo is currently dealing with. Okay. Five of Wands. Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign here, Leo. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel that this person is very closed off right now, Leo. Okay, they're very closed off. They're very withdrawn. They may even have some kind of a wall up here. I do have to say, I feel like this person is hurt. I feel like they're hurt or they're wounded. They're feeling very sensitive right now. And they're definitely on guard. Okay, they're definitely on guard. There's... The five of wands is here, which can depict maybe playing games. Okay, so there may be some kind of a battle between you and this person. Um, there may have been some arguing or fighting. I definitely feel there's some tension. Hmm. All right. Nine of pentacles. The Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah, there we go. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Three of Swords. So, and underneath that was a Queen of Wands. So, this person feels hurt by you, Leo. Okay, they're feeling hurt. They're feeling wounded. They're feeling disappointed, let down, sad. Now, with the Nine of Pentacles here, it could appear here that this person um, isn't showing you that they are hurting here. Hmm. This person may feel. See, the nine of pentacles to me is an energy of someone who is coming across rather independent. Um, she's very self-sufficient. Hmm. So they could be. They could be coming across like, I don't need Leo, I'm fine on my own. The Four of Wands is here. So I do feel that this person is seeking stability. They're seeking stability. Maybe they're not getting the stability from the relationship in the way that they would like. Because the Nine of Pentacles is here. So it's telling me one of you is acting like they want to be single or one of you is acting like they want to be independent. Like it's it's kind of like a I don't need them kind of a energy. Hmm. I actually feel Leo with the Ace of Cups here. I actually feel that this person is waiting for you to reach out to them and maybe apologize or maybe make some kind of an um, an offer. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is waiting for you to reach out. I do. The Hanged Man is an energy of someone who's not making any moves. It's kind of like I'm waiting around uh, for this offer to come forward. I do feel that this person would like to have a fresh start or a new beginning here with you. But it doesn't appear that this person is making any moves. I do feel that they're closed off. Can we just clarify this Nine of Pentacles? There's the five of cups. So it appears here, Leo, that this person's got in their head 
that you don't care about them or you're not interested in them. Uh, it could be that you're focusing on your material world right now. And this person is translating that like you're not interested or you don't care. And see in the Five of Cups, this person is focusing on these three cups. So this is all that they're focusing on right now. This is, this is what's bothering them. This is why they are withdrawn. They've got it in their head um, that this is the situation, that this is the case. Mm. I do get that they're feeling very sad right now. Um, let's look at this Three of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. There is certainly a lack of stability in this connection because the Ten of Pentacles would indicate stability, but it's coming, it, it's clarifying the Three of Swords. So there's certainly a lack of stability here. This person may feel like you're not as committed or devoted to them as they would like for you to be. Maybe there's been a lack of trust here. The trust has been broken. Um, hmm. Interesting. And the Ten of Pentacles is... It's abundance too, you know, so this person may be feeling hurt because you're focusing on maybe your business or money instead of the relationship. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. Four of Cups. This person is feeling rejected, Leo. They feel rejected by you. They feel that you've lost interest in them or you're not showing any interest in them. But I would have to say that this person is feeling rejected. A hundred percent. They're feeling rejected by you. Okay, let's take a look at this nine of wands. Yeah, the death card. Major arcana for Scorpio. It can speak to endings. It can speak to change and transformation. Let's just grab another card. Oh my goodness. Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. So I don't feel like anything is changing on their end. Okay. The Death card is, it's representing change, but it's clarifying the Nine of Wands. So I don't feel like they're going to make any changes anytime soon. However, with the Knight of Cups, this person does have romantic feelings for you, but they're not willing to act on those feelings or admit those feelings or show you how much they really care. Let's have a look at this uh, Five of Wands. Yeah, two of pentacles. Again, I'm seeing these two of pentacles as a lack of stability in a connection due to arguments, tension, fighting. It could be something here that plays out in the dynamic. Um, it's like... It's happened before, like this situation between you and this person, it's happened before and it could continue to play out. It's like a, it could be a bit of a power struggle or a power play here. But it's it's repetitive, it's cyclical, it, it continues to play out. I feel like it's happened before. I felt like you've dealt with this before with this individual, Leo. Let's take a look at this Four of Wands, the Tower. Yeah. This person is seeking stability in the connection, but the Tower is here, which is saying there's a lack of stability. Again, I'm getting a lack of stability here. The foundation of this connection is not solid.
Mm. There's been some kind of a breakup or there's been a falling apart within a relationship. So this relationship right now feels like it's fallen apart or there's been some kind of a breakup or a separation here, Leo. Okay, so let's take a look and see how you feel then, um, Leo. So we know that this person is upset and they're very withdrawn right now, but let's take a look at your energy. We're going to come in with the Light Seers Tarot to take a look at your energy. And then towards the end, we'll grab a last parting message or advice or whichever comes first using the wisdom of the Oracle Leo. Okay. All right, Spirit, please show us Leo's energy. Spirit, please show us Leo's energy. Spirit, please show us. Oh, okay. Nine of Swords. You seem to be in a state of worry. Okay. Um, you seem to be in a state of worry when it comes to this situation, Leo. Okay. It's really, it's preoccupying you. Okay. Whatever's going on here with you and this person, it seems to be taking up a lot of your mental space. Mm. This woman in this card, she's wearing red. Red, red can represent anger, uh, resentment. It can also represent lust and passion. So you could feel all these things towards this person. We've got the sun card. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Hmm. You're hoping and looking for clarity in the situation. You're hoping for the light at the end of the tunnel. You're like, how's, how much longer is this going to continue on for? Is this going to come to an end soon? There's the Ten of Wands. This is starting to weigh heavy on you, Leo. The situation here or the relationship, the way this person is behaving, it's it's really bothering you. It's getting to you. It's, it's weighing you down. I see you very strongly trying to focus on other things here with the Sun card. Um, but then you're kind of pulled into this heavy energy because we've got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you know, bookending the Sun card. And typically the Sun represents Leo for me. I want to say, Leo, try to remain optimistic, okay? Try not to let the situation dim your shine or dim your light. You are ruled by the sun, so... But I see the situation around you. It could be... It could be dimming your light or it could be affecting your happiness. Mm, okay, let's clarify the sun. The seven of wands. So I want to say, Leo, that you have to try to separate yourself. Okay, maybe you are separating yourself from this situation. The message here is to try not to take this on. Okay, try not to feel like you're to blame um, or it's your fault in any way. I'm not saying, I, I just feel like there's some Leos out there that might be taking this on. And I want to say to separate yourself. Okay, separate yourself from what's going on here. Um, try to protect your energy here with the Seven of Wands. Apologies for the wash machine in the background, guys. Trying to kill two birds with one stone here. Yeah, but it seems like you need to call your energy back to your center. Okay, you need to call your energy back to your center. Because I do see here that this situation is preoccupying you. Mm, and you could be struggling here. Let's look at this Ten of Wands. Again, a card that's saying to protect your energy. Um. Mm. You do feel that this person is very withdrawn from you. You do feel that they've pulled back from you.
And I feel like at this point, you don't have to do too much more, Leo. Um, the Four of Pentacles is an energy of a Leo that's saying, I'm not, I'm not giving any more to this situation. Because with the Ten of Wands, it can feel like you've given a lot to this person. Or you've been very generous here but you're being reminded here with the four of pentacles that you have to reserve some of that energy for yourself hmm you feel that this person isn't fighting for the connection okay you feel like um it's in your mind you're like why are they not fighting for the connection why are they not showing me attention because it seems to be bothering you here so you're like well if they're not going to fight for the relationship then i'm going to pull my energy back because at this point with the ten of wands you feel like you've done all that you can do leo all right, let's grab a last parting message or advice or whichever comes first. Let me know in the comment section below, Leo, if this reading has resonated with you this far. Uh, let me know if I've mentioned the sign of your person also, as that really helps me to connect to your energy better. You know, for a more clear and accurate read. But otherwise, let's see what spirit wants to say through the wisdom of the oracle. What have we got here for our Leos? We've got never-ending story. So again, remember earlier I said that this situation between you and this person has played out before, whether it's in this particular relationship or an, a previous relationship, but it seems like it's happening all over again. So I feel something needs to be addressed. Something here needs to be addressed. And I feel like both of you are avoiding one another or both of you are not confronting the, the issue. And if that continues to happen, then this will continue to play out. Whatever you're experiencing here in this connection, in this relationship, it will continue to play out if you both um, continue to avoid what's really going on here and avoid addressing the, the main issue. Okay, which could be with the Ten of uh, Pentacles here. The main issue is is commitment. Hmm. How committed are you both to the relationship? So there's your reading, Leo. Like, share, subscribe if it resonates. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know which part best resonated for you. And until my next video, Leo, stay well. Bye.